Hello everybody and welcome to Books of Blood. My name is John and today I'm going to be doing the mid-year freak out book tag, the 2020 edition. Uh, there are 13 questions on this uh, tag or for this tag. I'm sorry, I do not know who the original creator of the tag is. I apologize for that. I should have done my homework. I suck. Okay, I apologize. Uh, I wasn't tagged by anybody. I saw Brad Proctor doing this video and I said, hmm, I think I might have to do this video. And he's like, oh, you should totally do it, dude. And I'm like, okay, I'll do it, man. So yeah, that's it. So let's go ahead and get underway. Uh, so again, there are 13 questions. So first of all, the best book you've read in, so far in 2020. Uh, now this is not a 2020 release. I'm not sure what year this release is. I originally read this as an ebook. I loved it so much. I wanted a paperback copy of it or a hardback if it was, if it was available. And I suppose it was not. But anyway, The Final Reconciliation by Todd Kiesling. I absolutely love this book. It's a novella. Uh, it's cosmic horror. Uh, it's um, not so much Lovecraftian cosmic horror as it is uh, along the lines more of Ambrose Bierce. Since Ambrose Bierce, uh, this has a lot to do with uh, Haster and the the King in Yellow and things like that. So it would be more like Robert W. Chambers and Ambrose Bierce than it would be H.P. Lovecraft. But I absolutely fell in love with this book. So that's my uh, best book I've read so far in 2020. And nobody said it had to be a book that was published in 2020. So, yeah, I'm going to do that. Okay, number two, the best sequel you've read so far. Now, this is one that I read on my ebook. Uh, I'm not going to have the pictures pop up for the ebook copies because I'm recording this via the UCut video editor and I don't have a lot of space on my phone. So, what it does is it has the draft and then when you add the photos and stuff and I try to save it, it won't save because it says I don't have enough space on my phone. Uh, but anyway, the best sequel I've read so far this year in 2020, this is actually the first book in the series because I accidentally read the second book uh, before the first one. Uh, the second book was The Ghost of Sleeth. I read that back in 2019. Uh, but the first book from the series, uh, the Ash series, if you want to call it that, is called Haunted by James Herbert. Uh, so yeah, I really enjoyed that one. I don't know if I enjoy, enjoyed it as much as The Ghost of Sleeth. But I did enjoy it quite a bit, okay? So, yeah, even though it's the first book in the series, it's not a sequel, I, and I was out of order, yeah, Haunted, uh, James Herbert, okay? Uh, number three, new release you haven't read yet but want to. That's very easy. I have two books. Stephen King, If It Bleeds. Okay, this is a series of four uh, novellas uh, along the lines of... Uh, uh, Full Dark, No Stars, uh, Different Seasons. Uh, he had another one out that was uh, uh, Four Past Midnight also. So yeah, that's one of them. And this one here is one that Brad, Practor, the Brad, Br Brad Proctor has been talking about and talking about and talking about. It's like, Brad, 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 dude. Anyway, I'm just kidding. I'm kidding with you, Brad. Uh, and that is The Magpie Coffin. Man, he has sung this book's praises so many times. I had to have a copy of it, and I'm really looking forward to it because, uh, as ridiculous as it sounds, westerns and horror go so well together. I'll give you an example: Bone Tomahawk, uh, Skin Medicine by uh, Tim Curran, uh, Razored Saddles, uh, Joe Lansdale. Yeah, just so many great western horror books and movies. All right, so yeah, here you go: it's The Magpie Coffin. Uh, what do you have next? Uh, number four, most anticipated release for the second half of the year. I've got this book on order. I read this book as an ARC. I absolutely freaking loved it. I wanted a copy of it. I ordered a signed copy from the author, and I'm talking about Devil's Creek by Todd Kiesling. This is another one of those books that is a cosmic horror. Uh, this is, okay, let's just put it this way. Devil's Creek is Todd Kiesling's magnum opus. It is his masterpiece. I mean, uh, and I know this sounds really strange to say, I still love The Final Reconciliation just a little tiny bit more, but Devil's Creek is his magnum opus. It is, I, it, I can't recommend it anymore. There's no freaking way. I cannot recommend this book anymore. If you have not ordered this book, order this book. What's wrong with you? Anyway, uh, number five, biggest disappointment. Uh, there were two. Uh, excuse me, I'm going to reach from one of them real, here real quick because I did forget to pull it. 
Ah, number, there were two. All right. Uh, the first one is Anno Dracula, 1999, Daikaiju. I expected so much from this book after so many strong showings of the rest of the books. And I was just disappointed to no end. Okay. It's just not what I expected from this book. So yeah, that's one of them. Uh, the other one comes from an author who has written so many great books and then he puts this one out. It's like, Steve, what were you thinking? And of course, I'm talking about Elevation uh, by Stephen King. I'm sorry, but this book is warmed over crap. That's that's all I can say about it. I, I didn't like the storyline of it. I didn't like the... I didn't like anything about this book. I, I didn't like the characters. I, I just, I didn't like anything about this book, you know? So when the time comes for an unhaul, the only reason I'm not unhauling this book is because I want to have hardback, at least as many hardback copies of his books as I can. Other than that, this sucker would go in the unhaul pile so fast your head would spin, you know, just like Linda Blair and the Exorcist, you know? All right, uh, back to it. Okay, okay, okay. Uh, biggest surprise. And I know when I say biggest surprise, a lot of people say, well, this book surprised me because I didn't expect it to be this good. I'm talking about Broken Mirrors from Marie McWilliams. Now, Marie is a fellow booktuber here on BookTube or YouTube, whatever you want to call it. Uh, and it is not that I did not expect this book to be good. I did. I expected this book to be good. I did not expect it to be as good as it is, okay? That's why, to me, it was my biggest surprise. Uh, this one doesn't necessarily fall into the horror category. Uh, there are elements of horror, I guess you could say, but to me, it falls more in the, the suspense and thriller category. Uh, but it is. it just really surprised me how much I enjoyed it. Broken Mirrors by Marie McWilliams, and this is another one that I read on my ebook. So there you go. Uh, number seven, favorite new author, hands down, Todd Kiesling. I've read three books this year by Todd Kiesling Devil's Creek, absolutely loved it. The Final Reconciliation, adored it, loved it. Mwah! All right. And uh, Scan Lines, which I really, truly also enjoyed. It was a novella. I think I read it in maybe two hours. I, I believe it's about two hours. Awesome book. Todd Kiesling has quickly become um, my favorite author this year. Uh, give honorable mentions. Anybody can give an honorable mention to, I don't, I'm not really, shoot, see, uh, uh, I'm just, I'm not going to do honorable mention. Just, yeah, Todd Kiesling. All right. Uh, da, 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 da. newest character that you cared about their well-being. Again, when they say newest character, I'm going to go with characters that uh, that I read this year, and this is from the Anno Dracula series, and I'm talking about Genevieve Dudonay. Uh, she is the 500-year-old vampire who is, actually, she was bitten when she was like 16 years old, 15 or 16 years old, uh, and I know she's a vampire. I know she can take care of herself. I mean, she made it 500 years, but anytime she got herself in a situation where, like, she was on just the edge, the verge of dying, being destroyed or whatever. I'm like, no, don't do this. I love her character, so please don't do this. Don't do this. Don't do this. You can't do it. No. So, yeah, that's my answer. All right? Uh, number nine, newest favorite character, Genevieve Dudonay, or Dudonay, excuse me. I did. I loved I loved her character. I did. It was just, uh, I don't, how do you describe Genevieve Dudonay? Uh, charming, beautiful mysterious, um, dangerous, uh, oh man, I, I, I could go on and on. So yes, favorite character is Genevieve Dudonay. I hope they're not finished with the Anno Dracula books. And if they are, um, I hope they do more with her character. And I do know that she, uh, that Kim Newman writing under the name, uh, Jack Yeovil, uh, writes her and these other books, and her character is a little bit different. I haven't read those books. I think one of them is called Silver Nails. Uh, and I'm not sure about the rest of them. I cannot remember the names of them. I probably should pick them up. But at the same time, I, like I said, her character is different uh, in those than they are from the Anno Drac than she is from the Anno Dracula series. So at the same time, I don't want to be uh, disappointed or disillusioned. Okay. Uh, let's see. Book that made you cry. Where is it? Yes. 
Uh, I've talked about this book quite a bit. I talked about someone blue in the face because of how angry it made me. Uh, and just, there were scenes in this book that just made me so angry that I'm just like, just crying out of anger. I'm talking about Uncle Vampire. And like I said, you know the premise of the book. I've told you with you guys uh, several times uh, about this young girl and her sister whose uh, uncle is coming into the room and uh, molesting them. And they cope with it by imagining that he's a vampire coming into the room to suck their blood. This one made me so angry when I was reading it. Oh, good grief. Uh, I, I seriously, have you, have you ever wanted to just step into a book to defend someone because I wanted to rip this guy apart. I'm talking about with my bare hands. That's how angry I got. And it just got me tearfully angry. Okay. There we go. Uh, number C, um, da, da, da. number 11 book that made you happy. I got to pass on that one. I can't think of a book that made me happy this year. I mean, there are books that I love reading, but I read horror and horror doesn't normally make you happy. <coughs> Excuse me. Um, so yeah, I'm trying to think. I can't. I can't think of one. So uh, we're gonna pass on that one. Yeah, pass. All right, cool. Uh, most beautiful book number twelve. Most beautiful book you bought or received this year. Uh, again, there's a tie, and the first one is one I've shown already, and that is the final reconciliation. I, I just love that cover. It is just so. Uh, I, it's so, it's beautiful. It's a beautiful cover to me. Um, and it's just, uh, and then the inside of it is just, I don't know, just the way it, you know, the way it's put together and everything is just so well done. I read this originally, like I said, on ebook, and ebook just doesn't do it justice. I got this thing in the mail. Uh, Todd signed it for me. Of course, I, I asked him, told him what I wanted him to put on it, and he did. And I was just so surprised when I was flipping through it. Uh, the second one is Lilitu. The Memoirs of a Succubus by Jonathan Fortin. And oh man, I man, this I just the cover on this book is just I, I love it. It's just beautiful. You know, I mean, there's uh, the picture of uh, Lilitu or the girl, the woman be that becomes a uh, Lilitu. Uh, just just a gorgeous cover to me. So yeah. And finally, number thirteen. What books do you need to read by the end of the year? It's not so much that I need to read these books. Um, these are just books that I want to read. Probably just must well say all of them. I mean, I've got so many books. Uh, of course, by the end of the year, I want to read The Magpie Coffin. I want to read... Uh, I've got a book um, that I received as an ARC. I've got ARC books that I need to read. Um, and uh, and possibly review. Uh, one of them is called The Thing in the Woods. I just received that. Uh, from the author as a uh, as a Moby or uh, ebook edition. Uh, I'm probably going to read that one next. He did ask me when I was going to get to it, and I told him I would get to it uh, for my July TBR. Uh, so that's one. Um, I'm trying to think of anything else. I can't think of anything else right now. So yeah, that's my answer for number 13. So that being said, that is my answers for the Mid Year Freak Out Book Tag 2020 edition. So. Until next time, have a great evening.